The global economy is likely to bounce back in 2021, spurred by the rollout of vaccines, further fiscal stimulus, and the continuation of easy monitoring policy. We expect this combination to produce further upside for equities, particularly cyclical, maintain the appeal of higher yield bonds, and support commodities. One way to exploit this is through broad exposure to emerging markets. Hi, my name is Kobe, an associate with No Private Wealth. If you're new to my channel, we focus on helping our clients build wealth in the most tax efficient way. And in today's video, I'm going to talk about the three main reasons why you should include emerging markets in your portfolio. So let's jump right in. An emerging market is a country that is recognized as having a significant GDP growth, a large global contribution to production, an increase in the size of the middle class, and a potential for rapid growth and investment. China, Taiwan, South Korea, India, and Brazil make up the top five emerging market countries. Emerging markets used to be a somewhat obscure niche of the international investing world. Currently, emerging markets capitalization underrepresents its global economic importance. Despite the fact that the emerging markets contribute almost 40% of the global GDP, they only make up 11.5% of global market capitalization. Global market capitalization refers to the total dollar market's value of a country's outstanding shares of stock. These rapidly developing countries play an increasingly important role in the global economic system. In fact, more than half of global economic growth is now driven by emerging markets and they are expected to lead growth in the short term and dominate the global economy by 2050. So why are we so positive about emerging markets right now? Well, with the global economy likely to bounce back, spurred by the rollout of vaccines, further fiscal stimulus, and supportive monetary policy, we believe that we are heading into a period of accelerating growth and accelerating inflation. As you can see, one of the top performing asset classes in such scenario is in fact emerging markets. The US dollar and bonds tend to underperform in this environment. The depreciation of the US dollar is caused by the increase in monetary mass. When the Federal Reserve is buying back bonds, they are introducing more US dollars into the economy. The $1.9 trillion fiscal stimulus will do the same. With more US dollars in the economy, the value of the US dollar drops. Diamonds work on the same principle. If everybody had them, they wouldn't be as valuable. And because most emerging market debt is in US dollars, when the US dollar drops, it is cheaper to service or repay the debt. As you can see in the chart, emerging markets outperform when the US dollar is falling versus rising. Finally, emerging markets are attractively valued compared to their peers. Valuations peaked about a decade ago, and since then, emerging markets have been getting cheaper and cheaper compared to developed markets. The net earnings revisions have turned strongly positive for 2021, with expected company earnings to grow by 32% compared with a 6% decline in 2020. Historically, emerging markets' volatility has been higher on average than in developed markets, but it has been converging over the years and a good case could be made that they are not more volatile than the S&P 500 or the TSX. Nonetheless, we believe that emerging markets have a good place in a portfolio, offering diversification, the potential to higher growth, exposure to cyclical stocks, which is essential in an economic recovery, attractive valuation, and a boost from a weaker dollar. That's it for today's video. I hope you found it valuable. And if you haven't done that already, make sure to hit the like button. And if you want to see more, don't forget to subscribe. If you have any questions or comments, please let us know below and the senior investment advisor will get back to you. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you next time.